Welcome back to the channel my friends Good to see you Looks like this guy it's pretty much all done I'm just waiting for the batteries my friends To install it and get this thing out of here And I'm packing up my stuff And heading over to the island my friends So I hope you guys are having an awesome day Thanks for all the love. I really appreciate you guys. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So see you on the island, eh? Let's see how this is gonna. Here you go, guys. Where are you sending me, sweetie? <laughs> are you sending me away? <laughs> oh my God, look what she's doing, guys. Oh, cabbage rolls. Uh, here we come. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so it's 10 30 a.m. as we speak. Almost everything is packed up, you guys. Leah did an awesome job. She helped me a lot. I can't thank her enough for that. But uh, we have everything here ready to go. It's all set up. All I gotta do now, guys, pack the tools and uh, heading to the ferries, okay? So, just open up and do this because I need to pack some stuff in here heavily. We need the engine hoist and all my tools, so... Have an awesome day, guys. So here we go. First piece. First piece, guys. Look who's coming to visit me. Look at that. Oh, what well, is it now? Watch out, he's gonna run you over. Okay, guys, I'm ready to hit the road. So let's go to the ferries. Here we go, my friends. We are on the move again. Welcome to Lolis Afrod. Let's go for a nice drive, guys. Let's do that together. It's a beautiful day. It's about 4.30 and I'm hoping to catch the 5.45 ferries to Nanaimo. There you guys have it. Now you know where are we going, right? 
Check that sky out guys, OMG, look at that, what a beauty, what a beauty, we are just about, oh look at them. those guys are having fun there. Check this rig out too, what a beauty. We are uh, at the ferries, we are waiting, hopefully we're gonna get on the 545, but as you guys uh, seen, I went and I visited a subscriber, his name is Dale anyway, because he took his uh, C-Class to a shop and they told him many different stories and the price was just and mangoes. I was in shock when I actually I seen the report. So, you know, I don't know how these people do it, but it's ridiculous, you know, like for a front end job, ball joints, let's say, steering components, and the center I've been bushing, like four some thousand dollars. Anyway, that's what I did yesterday, guys, in between, uh, you know, working on David's Zambo. So anyway, that's all finished up. Uh, last night I ran over to Dale. Uh, David came today. We ran the Ambo. You guys see it in the video. And now I'm just waiting at the ferries going to Nanaimo. So I'll see you guys on the island. But yeah, I just wanted to point out like you guys, you know, like you take your truck to a shop don't don't take it like you know if if you think something is wrong or something is just not right you know go get a second opinion you know and not only that these guys charge uh, around 300 dollars to do the inspection that's insane you know i understand it's a business but you know what really like okay how much are the parts we can uh, look at it all up right around 500 bucks 600 bucks how long does it take you know how much you charging per hour how you get to the four thousand dollars anyway you know i thought i went out a little bit <laughs> i let you guys know all this kind of stuff right but uh, yeah so that's why you know like if you guys see you know that i am doing a little bit of review of here and there products you know you guys can skip through it, you know. The reason I do all this, you know, so I can go and do free stuff like, you know, inspection, go see Dell or somebody else, you know, who's in need or, you know, they need a second opinion, you know, and I don't charge for all this kind of stuff, you guys, you know that, you know. So anyway, see you on the island. Enough of the blah, blah, blah. Here you go, guys. The process just begin to embark. So let's see if we are gonna get lucky on this one. Looks like there is a few cars here and there, you know, lots of line -ups. So this line here on my left in my mirror, it's the reservation. So the process just began. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we're gonna make it, you know. I'm hoping, guys, I'm hoping. Because my bro, it's excited and it's waiting for me. And so do I. Look at that big bus behind me. Nice. gonna make it oh yeah we are making it guys on the 545 while well, it's already six because it came late but yes we are going on oh yes let's go let's go camping here I come I need a good campfire here we are with the crowd, all the camper vans, all the camper vans.
Okay, well, it's time to go to bed. What a night! It was awesome! All the campfire, my friends. Now let's go to sleep, so... Let's go to bed, my friends. It's that time of the day. It's midnight. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. With a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. How about that? Okay, so good night. Sleeping in that tent over there going, Let's go. Good, good morning. morning. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good, man. You should go have a shower, dude. This shower is so good. Yeah? Yeah. If you do go in when you go, because the second one's got shitty pressure, but if you go in, go to the first stall, it's hot. Like, yeah. legit hot. Nice. <laughs> what are you making there? A chorizo sausage, I guess. Really? Yeah. Huh. I like that thing. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Good morning, Shaliza sausages. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's go to the shop. We had some fun last night, but what a beautiful day it turned out to be today, my friends, compared to yesterday. And look at that beauty out there. Amazingly beautiful, amazingly beautiful. That's why I can never uh, get sick of this place. So, yeah. Good morning, Birdo. Good morning, buddy. What the hell? That's Are a, we having a yeah, party or that, what? That's not my kind of party. I don't do the crown roll. That's not. Well, here we go, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Lolis Afro the Overland. Yes, here we are. We are working on this little beast here. On density van license. I'm just trying to get this valve cover out. So what I'm doing, just removing all the wiring harness from the glow plugs, spark plugs, not glow plugs, injectors, because this is not a diesel, and then make enough room to be able to pull this off, and I show you guys why we're gonna pull that off. You've been surprised. Okay, but yeah. Welcome, guys. So, I sure hope you guys are having fun, because I am, I had a lot of fun last night, so. You see what I mean, guys? So we have to move this from here just enough so we have enough room to lift it up over the timing chain that we can remove it. So show you how this is done. See? I said if this is not coming out, we're gonna go fishing. <laughs> Let's see. There is a way, man. There is, has to be some kind of way. Coming back, exactly, yes. You know, like, see what I mean? It's just that wall is so tight there. Why? Let it go. Let it go, see what's going on. No? That doesn't want to go that way. Yeah, let's see. No? I don't want to go that way either. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe leave it down now. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we can go a little bit down. Clear that wire there? But if we... What's that? Uh, if we go, leave it down a little bit, hold on a second, let's see. No, gotta go this way, yeah. Let 
aquí, ¿no? ¡Uja! We are going fishing. No, no we are not. We have a job to do. And boy. No, fishing. <laughs> and boy, there it is. Now let's see where is that piece. Well, well, well. So, Chrome went to Lorco to pick up one of these uh, PCB valves, you know. But I don't think this is the problem, my friends. I think the problem lies way deeper than that. And if I show you, if I take you guys in there because I have the valve cover off, you're gonna see some really huge discoloration, looks like carbon on the front part of the cam. If you look at the rear, it looks like more like clear and it looks like on the top side there is a lot of sludge. So, why not me and you guys, let's go in there, okay? And let's light up that thing and you guys can see it yourself. Now, am I having a good idea what's going on here? Kind of, but not really. Okay, so let's go in there, guys, and let's see. You see what I mean? Okay, so if you look at the first one, two, first half, right? And then when you look at the second half, you see what I mean? Let's see if I can put that light properly there. Let me just take you in this way, you guys, okay? So it's better. Hold on, I'll take the light away. Okay, so now I'll put the light back on, okay? So here we go. So this is the first half, okay? And then let's go to the second half, okay? And then, there you guys have it, okay? You see what I mean? Oh, my light just died. Bummer, okay. Let me get another light. And we come right back. Go again from here. Okay, so, you see what I mean, you guys? You see that? You see all that discoloration on here? Look at the condition. Look at that. And then it's clearing up there. But not only that, we just go back on the other side. And I'll take you guys there with this light. Okay, and then let's see if you guys can see it. Oh, okay, so you see all that uh, carbon up there on the upper side, you know. But what I'm saying, look at the color on the front side. To me, it looks like there is some kind of exhaust or something coming right in there now. Is that possible? Mm, I don't know, maybe. It's just a maybe. But, how the oil gets into the exhaust? That's the big question. Because it's right there. If you look at the bottom side of, you know, things, right? There. Now, could the valve stem um, seals gone? It's possible, but we had a, a little, uh, how you call it, boroscope, and then I could not see nothing there, really nothing. So, it's a mind blowing, you know, like, okay, so what we do? Should we pull the engine out so we can have a look? I don't know what else to say because I'm really not a super, super pro on these gas engines, but I have a, a good idea or a rough idea like what could be wrong. Now, if any of you guys out there are really pros on this, uh, you know, 4.6, you know, the V2 engines, and you guys have a good idea that that's possible and you guys seen that, 
in the past because I try to look up in Google and everything else. Nobody says nothing about like excessive. I can see a problem when, you know, you burning and you have a little bit of blue smoke. Okay, while you are burning oil, you know, there is a few things that could be wrong. But I never seen like oil puking out from the exhaust. So how, how does it get in there? That's my question. So anyway, uh, I think, you know, we're gonna run a test with this PCV valve, but to be honest with you guys, no freaking away, no away this will make this engine to puke out that much oil to come out on the exhaust. It just no away because one side has this PCV valve and the other side has just a, a straight through. So it can come into the intake, no problem. There is no trace of anything in the intakes. Let me put this light on too. So I can show you guys that too. You know, come on. There we go. So, you know what I mean? There is, shows no whatsoever, zero. Look at how nice and dry that is, you know? And then this side, like I said, it's open. So if would there be a lot of pressure inside, it would blow all that pressure in here from this side, because this side it's open, has no valve, only the, the passenger side has the valve. So I don't know. It's one of those mysteries. So at this point, I might as well just pull it out you know, get the engine out so you have a better visual and then figure out what's the problem, you know, figure out what's the problem. But I don't know, man. you know, this is where the PCV valve should sit inside there, right? Right there, you know, when it was running, was no pressure in here at all. And you take the filler tube out. So, so it's a mind blowing. So it could be just a valve stem because if the head would be cracked or a head gasket, I'm 100% positive that it would mix the coolant with the oil, but there is none of that happens. So let me know, let me know. Okay, so cheers. That's all I have for you guys. I appreciate your love. Thanks for riding along with me. I'm gonna close this one here. I really, you know, appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully we can find out what's going on with uh, my bros Chrome uh, home you know with the engine but you guys stay tuned and you guys find out too at the same time like me till next time my friends you be safe be well peace out